Deep inside Earth lies a mystery. Deep carbon. The element carbon moves throughout our world in a global cycle. But Earth's mantle and core are extreme environments far beyond our reach. So scientists with the Deep Carbon Observatory search for clues from Earth's crust to answer key questions. How much deep carbon is there? What forms does it take? How does it move? And where does it originate? They collect samples in remote and fascinating places. This crater lake off the coast of Madagascar contains high concentrations of carbon. It may resemble our planet several billion years ago. Sediment and fluids collected here give scientists a glimpse into the past. The deep mines of Canada also provide windows to the past. Carbon-rich fluids have been trapped here for billions of years. This water may have hosted the very beginnings of life on Earth. Monitoring stations like this one in Costa Rica measure volcanic gas emissions. The data helps scientists track carbon moving out of Earth's mantle. Beneath the oceans, rips in Earth's fault lines create hydrothermal vents. Using submersibles, scientists study vent chemistry. Their research will help us learn more about the role of carbon in these deep ocean environments. Both the seabed and land provide opportunities to collect sediment cores for signs of a very special kind of carbon, deep life. With these samples, researchers can map the diversity of Earth's deep biosphere. With more than 100 field sites worldwide, deep carbon observatory scientists are working hard to gain a new perspective on Earth's global carbon cycle. Discover more at deepcarbon.net.